I don't really know how I feel about Fetch. On the one hand, it was quite sweet and the animation quality is stunning, but I also feel like it took a weird direction and I'll have to give a spoiler warning because I need to discuss something that happens and I feel like there was a better option, a better way to tell this story. And I will discuss what I mean by that, but this is a 2020 um, Disney short circuit animation written and directed by Mitchell Council and it's about this young girl who's playing in the forest and the forest backdrop is so gorgeous, the colour palette is so fresh and crisp and it's just gorgeous and her hair, she's got kind of ginger hair and it's a really earthy tone that seems to glow almost and she's just beautiful, visually absolutely stunning and we can tell that she's calling for her pet and as she wanders into this forest um, she, she's not scared, there's no sense of fear in her, she's just looking for her pet because she wants to play fetch and what happens after that is to, supposed to depict kind of innocence um, and naivety as we're told at the beginning of the animation or before the animation starts which when you know it you can see it but I feel like that's not obvious and I feel like what happens is just a little bit silly and kind of ruined an otherwise beautiful animation so I guess I'll discuss with a spoiler warning what I mean by that now but just to sum them up visually gorgeous a nice idea but not very well executed um, and the music is beautiful so spoilers this, what we think is this big monster, runs up to her and eats her. And I may immediately thought, wow, that took a different direction. And then we learn that that's actually her pet. And she comes up from being inside of him and he like spews her up and she's giggling. And I just thought that was really ludicrous and stupid. And it just made no sense whatsoever. It would have made so much more sense to depict the message that we were told it's meant to depict at the beginning. If this big looming monster did kind of creep up behind her and we the viewer think it's a scary monster that's going to get her but at the last moment it doesn't and you know she turns around and sees it and grins and smiles and reali we realise that what is a horrible scary monster to us what we see as a threat the child sees as its plaything a playmate and that would have made sense but why did it have to eat it eat her I mean yeah it was done for the shock value of course it was but once I got over the shock and realised hang on this is her pet I just thought, why did it eat her? What was the point in that? I just feel like it's a bit of a really silly direction for what was otherwise a really beautiful story. So actually, it's a film of two halves. Visually, it's gorgeous. It's a nice idea, but the execution's terrible. Nevertheless, I'd say it's worth checking out because visually, it is stunning. But unfortunately, the narrative just kind of lost itself. 